Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Gabrielle Scott, Product Marketing Manager at AvPoint, and I'm so grateful you're joining us today for this exciting virtual launch event. We're streaming live from our LinkedIn page, so feel free to drop any questions in the chat below, and our colleagues will be standing by to answer. Today, we're going to be talking about Confide, AvPoint's new next-gen virtual data room solution. We're going to cover a lot of ground, but I promise we won't take too much of your time. If you're not able to stay tuned or you're just catching the on-demand recording, you can visit www.confide.me for more information and helpful resources. Now let's get started. Joining me today is Dana Simberkoff, AvPoint's Chief Risk, Privacy, and Information Security Officer. Hi, Dana. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Gabrielle. I'm excited to be with you today to talk about Confide. Confide began as a passion project for us when we were going through the SPAC process and going public. Uh, we decided that um, as part of that process, we had to manage millions of pieces of information, many different users. There were a lot of moving parts and all that information had to be kept um, very confidential because it included highly sensitive information. And as you can imagine, there were all kinds of people involved in that process. Managing the data was just a massive undertaking and making sure that uh, appropriate people had permissions to the right information was incredibly, incredibly difficult at times. It was a huge undertaking for the company and based on our own experience, we recognized that this was something that many of our customers were dealing with as well. So we began to ask our customers and from small businesses to large enterprise organization, we began hearing really similar themes um, based on uh, their feedback in our own experience, we recognize that it was very difficult for people to ensure that, for example, um, permissions were managed properly. And we heard that it takes hours to manually pull metrics and reporting from these sites. Uh, we're getting charged per page. How are we possibly going to budget for this? And what's going to be the, um, you know, possibility of um, appropriately assigning resources to it. Why are we using a secure virtual data room when everybody is emailing around content about this and discussing it in other areas? It became really clear that this was a, uh, a real problem for many organizations and it was a product opportunity for AppPoint as well. And it was a chance for us to really bring our areas of expertise, security, collaboration, and simplicity to uh, the market in a new product. Great. Thanks so much for that background. Um, I know one of the questions that we heard a lot as we were building Confide is, you know, how is this different than using policies and insights or cloud governance? Um, why can't we just use SharePoint? Yeah, well, we do use SharePoint quite a bit, and um, those are great products that we use all the time inside of AppPoint for a number of different projects, but it's really important to use a product that's fit for purpose, and those products are used for ongoing long-term projects that have, um, you know, different kinds of needs than this specific area for a project like going public or uh, a couple of other scenarios that we're going to talk about, including uh, mergers and acquisitions, it's really important to have a highly secure product that's built for purpose. And the challenge is, you know, how do you get um, people to be able to collaborate securely on information that they need to have immediately available to them, but that's protected appropriately um, so that it's not accessible by people who shouldn't be able to get to it. So here at AppPoint, you know, we were faced with those challenges and we experienced it ourselves. So um, we really have, uh, in, in this case, served as our own customer in helping to design the requirements for this product. And here to talk um, more about that experience, I'm going to bring in Kate Phelan, who is our Senior VP of AppPoint Client Services and Product Strategy. And Kate, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, so, Kate, you were the lucky person that got to manage this process for AppPoint, and I'm wondering if you could tell us about that experience of managing our virtual data room. Sure, yeah. Um, so, when AppPoint was deciding to go public, we knew there would be a lot of data, there would be a lot of teams working together, um, and this wasn't our first rodeo uh, back in 2019. We actually went through a Series C, um, and for that process, we used SharePoint. Uh, so even though we you know, wanted 
we knew this would be a bigger project. Um, obviously, the stakes were a little bit higher. Uh, we did decide to use SharePoint again, so we could definitely keep our data in-house. Um, and as somebody who managed the project, I, in turn, managed the data room. And I imagine much of your time was spent managing users and permissions. Well, uh, sort of, I guess. Yes and no. Uh, <laughs> so even though I was the person who managed the data room, um, there was data in there that even I couldn't see. Um, and it was technically administered by our IT admin. So um, I had to work with our IT admin to kind of invite users, update permissions, build folder structures, things like that. Um, and when you're dealing with external parties, which in this process, there's quite a few, um, there's a whole invite process that has to be exists and make sure they accepted the invite and they logged in and all of that. Um, so initially we had set up three groups. Um, one that kind of was all knowing group and then somewhere in the middle and then kind of a, a generic uh, portion. And over the course of the project, um, that became at least double, I would say almost triple that amount of groups. Um, due to the nested nature and the amount of data that certain users should have access to or could have access to. Um, and we tried to keep that limited based on need. Um, so, you know, as we kind of continued on this, I, I had this great vision to start off with a nice clean permission structure, but it grew quickly out of hand. Um, and it turns out I ended up managing kind of who had access to what uh, in my OneNote, um, in my team internally. So. Um, ideally, uh, not the way to go, uh, but these projects kind of have a mind of their own and they do grow um, as, as you kind of go through it. Yeah, it sounds really, really complicated. And I would imagine it was made much more so by going through or having to work through an intermediary. Yeah, it definitely was. Uh, I mean, the SharePoint's great. Um, you know, it has a lot of great collaboration features, especially when you're talking about documents. Um, granular permissions and nested folder structure. But as we mentioned earlier, it's built for kind of a generic collaboration, you know, day to day kind of scenario, not really um, for this very specific, very secure scenario. Uh, so for example, to add a guest or add an external party, like maybe a lawyer or a banker, um, you know, I had to go to my IT admin, he had to create the user in our tenant, they got an email, they had to accept that email um, and then and they had to then be granted access to the workspace um, and that invitation we couldn't control. So it was kind of a generic one often went to spam or junk or kind of got flagged by by other organizations IT. Uh, so what I ended up doing was to send them a follow up email of the process to actually log in. Uh, so it worked and then work with our IT team to make sure that they'd activated their account. So not the cleanest solution for sure. Sure. So I'm sending you an email to make sure you got my email. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Sounds like it was a bit challenging. Did you get uh, any feedback from other users on the project? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, uh, everybody did their best to work within the data room. And, you know, but there's definitely a lot of parties involved here that might not be used to some of the cool features that SharePoint has for us and some of, you know, the team's functionality that we're used to. So you know, in the in the interest of getting the job done, by default, uh, people would just go right back to email um, and send an attachment. And when that happened, you know, obviously I had to grab the attachment, upload it into the site, send a link. Um, and with that, you know, I lost a lot of those great features, versioning, comments, you know, uh, full access. So, yeah, I mean, we did our best, but it didn't always uh, work out ideally. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Totally, totally. And it definitely creates some security risks, right? Because uh, I don't know who's on that email. You can copy anybody uh, versus kind of keeping the permissions tight in a, in a place, in a workspace. Yeah. And last question, I know that you were trying to keep the files in the data room. So how did everybody communicate about things like tasks or deadlines? Yeah, so that was all outside um, because we use the data room pretty much purely as a document repository. So uh, for the internal team, we use Teams. We The team used Teams. Um, and that was kind of how I tagged everybody to kind of do what they needed to do or go check this here and there. Um, but for external parties that didn't have access to our team, that also resorted to email. So um, I'm kind of tracking status of multiple tasks in multiple places. 
Um, so yeah, not the, not the cleanest, uh, but definitely a lot of manual effort to kind of make sure everything was on track. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I was a participant in the project, as you know, and I really had no idea of the magnitude or how complicated it was to set up the permissions and the back end infrastructure of that for you. So I really want to say thank you for doing that. And we all appreciate it here. Any last thoughts you'd like to share before we move on? Uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, SharePoint's a great tool. Um, it's great for collaborating on documents. It's convenient. We love SharePoint. You know, F-Point's been a SharePoint shop for, for many years, um, but it was designed by somebody in IT to be administer it and own it. And for something like this, um, again, as we mentioned earlier, it's really important that you have something that I could manage myself um, or the business owner can manage themselves. Um, and also something that's built for this situation. Uh, it is not a situation that with just general collaboration, it's very specific and it's very secure and there's a lot of important info here. Um, so, you know, a, a solution that caters to that would have been great. Um, again, we made it work. We got through, we are public, so uh, all good, but uh, it definitely could have been a lot easier over, over the months that we did it. Yes, absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us today, Kate. And I'm going to turn it back over to Gabrielle to talk a little bit more about Confide. Thanks, Dana. We listened to feedback from colleagues like Kate and customers such as yourself, and we set out to design a purpose-built, industry-focused virtual data room. Um, this project hit close to home for us here at AvPoint, and we saw it as an opportunity to improve the way that business users collaborate on these really secure projects. If you're familiar with traditional BDRs, you know they all have pretty similar functionality. File management, secure sharing, advanced permissions. Um, so with a clean interface and simple but powerful controls, we incorporated the best of those fundamental features into Confide, but then we tried to take it to the next level. To start, Confide keeps your data close to home. Um, each project is set up as a separate site collection in a lockdown section of the customer's Microsoft 365 tenant. Um, rather than relying on IT to set up and administer a secure site, Confide puts the control in the hands of the business owners themselves, like Kate in our case. Uh, project owners can quickly spin up a new workspace, set up a project library, and assign permissions. Um, there's no need to enable external Office 365 access, so working with guest users is easier and more secure than ever. You can also assign project-related tasks deadlines and view an activity history with Confide secure inline communications. And even better, you can use our Outlook plugin um, to communicate directly from your inbox, which optimizes adoption and ease of use without sacrificing security. We have plenty of resources that dive deeper into features and functionality, but right now I want to talk a little bit more about use cases. Dana, earlier you began to touch on specific scenarios that require a specific solution. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Well, um, when you're working on these kind of projects, it's really important to have uh, the right uh, application in your arsenal and Confide is a perfect solution to be there for you. Think about a company, for example, that's looking to raise capital and they're working on courting investors. They need to provide highly sensitive financial information to a limited number of people. Confide is an ideal solution for that kind of a scenario. Another example might be a company that's going through some kind of litigation and needs to work with both internal Internal attorneys and external attorneys on information that may be attorney client and privileged. This is a wonderful way of protecting that information and also making sure that it's secure. We've heard from manufacturing and life sciences companies as well who need to work on uh, and in secure areas to protect their intellectual property. And at that point internally, my team is using Confide for managing our external audit processes uh, like ISO and SOC attestation. Uh, finally, I think one of the largest opportunities in areas for a pro product like Confide is in the areas of companies that are working on mergers and acquisitions as well as divestitures. That's uh, again an area where you really need to have timely and confidential information available to the right people and that's a market that I think is really growing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, last year, we know that global M&A activity hit a record high. By September, more than $4.3 trillion in deals were reported, um, which was higher than the all-time annual peak that we saw before the financial crisis in 2007. 
Um, when the pandemic fundamentally changed the way that we all work, transactions didn't slow down. They just moved online. Um, a recent Deloitte survey found that 87% of organizations effectively managed a deal in a purely online environment. Cybersecurity has, of course, always been a top concern, but the shift to purely virtual deal making really intensified those risks. Imagine if an executive accidentally, or God forbid, intentionally shared a list of your top acquisition targets. This would have a catastrophic impact on a potential deal, not to mention major market implications for parties on the buy and sell side. And of course, we have to also think about the risks coming from outside the organization. Um, there's been a 238% uptick in global cyber attacks during the pandemic. So with each breach is costing about an average of $4 million. So the financial and reputational risks are just huge. Um, to talk to us more about how AbPoint supports organizations throughout the deal life cycle and where Confide falls within that ecosystem, I wanna bring in Marco Morsella, our Senior VP of Product Strategy. Hey, Marco. Thanks, Gabrielle. I'm really happy to be here. Confide is a really exciting product for us because it expands AppPoint's investment and purpose-built solutions for end users in specific industries. Not only that, Confide furthers our ability to support customers throughout the entire M&A lifecycle. With solutions ranging from migration to secure collaboration, AppPoint serves as a holistic partner to organizations undergoing mergers, acquisitions, or divestitures. Investors and buy-side organizations can manage due diligence in Confide collaborating on everything from initial target lists to documentation and negotiations. You see, M&A can be very tricky, and unfortunately, a lot of transactions will never meet their intended targets. A critical key to success is the post-deal integration. That work really begins before the deal is even signed, and it requires a secure workspace. AppPoint's SaaS migration solution, Fly, helps to easily consolidate multiple tenants and even multiple clouds into Microsoft 365. With rapid discovery and seamless transformation, Fly can get users back to work with quickly so they can drive critical innovation for your new organization. There's a big investment there as part of that M&A life cycle. Once consolidation is complete, we can help organizations protect their newly formed entity. Cloud Backup secures your data with granular backup and restores capability. Our policy and insights product highlights and prioritizes potential risk exposures in addition to implementing automated policy enforcement that minimizes manual processes for your IT team. So whether you're just beginning to consider M&A transactions or finishing up your 10th deal of the year, we can help. AppPoint services team can facilitate everything from discovery to white glove concierge services. So at the end of the day, we know that many of our customers are actively contributing to the record setting deal activity, and we're proud to be able to help optimize and protect their investments. Great, thanks so much, Marco. I promise to keep this short and sweet, so I wanna thank Marco and Kate for joining us today. Um, Dana, any last words before we go? Uh, thanks, Gabrielle, and thanks again to Marco and Kate. I think it's really simple. AppPoint has been working for 20 years to provide our customers with the ability to collaborate with confidence, and Confide is simply a natural extension of that work that we've been doing, and I'm really excited for users to get started with the new product. Awesome. I couldn't agree more. To everyone out there, um, as you think about the new year ahead and all your sensitive projects like M&A, audits, um, anything where you're going to be uh, collaborating with external users, Confide is available now to help minimize risk and enhance productivity. Thanks again to everyone who joined us live or the people who grabbed the recording. We're going to stick around for a little bit to answer any questions in the feed below, so feel free to keep dropping those questions in. For additional resources or to request a demo, just visit www.confide.me. Thanks again.